welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is illustrating the nature of bivariate data. Let's do it. Let us define first what a variable is. A variable is an attribute or characteristic that may take more than one value which can either be measured or classified. You have heard this variable already in research, of course. The height of students, weight of students, number of hours students spend studying at home, and daily allowance of students are examples of variables and are called univariate. Take note of that, that is univariate. Now, univariate data are often described using the measures of central tendency, mean or average, mode, median, variations, or other descriptive statistics. Take note of that when we say univariate, it will involve only one variable. And of course, it uses these measures of central tendency, the mean, the average, the median, and of course, the mode. Take note that mean or average are the same. Now, data that involve two variables are called bivariate. Again, we call it as bivariate. The statistical procedure used to determine and describe the relationship between two variables is called correlation analysis. So, meaning to say when we say bivariate, of course, it will involve two variables this time. The statistical procedure used to determine and describe the relationship between two variables is called, of course, correlation analysis. Take note Let's of Let's take these examples now. Identify the variables involved in the following situations and determine whether each situation involves, of course, a univariate or bivariate data. Number one. A secretary recorded the daily number of patients a doctor has for a month during the general community quarantine. If you will analyze the situation, it says here, daily number of patients a doctor has. So meaning to say, the variable here is number of patients. That's the variable. Now, there's no other variable involved in here, so therefore this one is univariate since we only have one variable. Example number two, a researcher observed the number of minutes it takes for students to answer a worded problem in math and the number of hours they spend in studying the subject for a grading period. So there are two variables involved here. We will analyze it. So we have the number of minutes for students to answer, of course, worded problem. In math. And the other variable is number of hours spent in studying the subject. Okay, so there are two variables involved, number of minutes for students to answer worded problem in math, and the other one is number of hours students spent in studying the subject, which is also, of course, math. Now, how many variables do we have? We have two, therefore, we can categorize it as bivariate data. Example number three, a researcher records the number of infected COVID-19 patients and the number of days they spend in the hospital before recovering from the disease. So again, in number three, we need to identify the variables and there are two variables here, the number of infected 
number of infected COVID patients. And of course, we also have number of days is spent. Number of days patients spent in the hospital. Okay, so there are two variables again. Number of infected COVID patients and number of days patients spent in the hospital. So therefore, this one is again a bivariate data. So number four, a housewife finds out that their average electric consumption during the quarantine period costs 1,230. If you will notice, there is a word average here. So therefore, our variable is average electric consumption. Okay, so this one is of course a univariate data. Why? Because there is only one variable. Example 5. A student researcher concluded that the number of hours of sleep is highly related to the blood count of the students. So there are two variables involved. We have number of hours of sleep and of course blood count of students. So therefore there are two, one, two. So therefore this one is a bivariate data.